pink was my favorite color then. I remember as a child um, going into these stationery stores in Bombay and in Mysore. And they were small stores stacked with loads of books and textbooks and notebooks all around. As a child, one of my prized possessions, and this was in primary school, was a, a Stedler pink sketch pen. Uh, pink was my favorite color then. Otherwise, I never really uh, used sketch pens and um, never really had you know the, the pack of 10, 15 or 20 sketch pens that lots of kids had. But yeah, I remember walking into these uh, stationery stores with uh, loads of uh, stationery all stacked around and the smell of new books. And then, you know, spending the first uh, week, 10 days in June when schools used to reopen, uh, getting my parents or my mother to wrap my books with the brown paper, which I never figured why. While I was a child, I did have a prized possession, which was a hand-me-down Schaeffer pen from my grandfather. Uh, that's when we... Uh, graduated from writing with pencils to uh, writing with pens. It was initially fun to fill the pen with ink, but eventually became extremely messy. Me with you know, not having too much of patience, it didn't really last much with the ink pens. Uh, also quite clumsy and kept dropping those pens and breaking the nibs. I didn't do that with a Schaeffer pen, but we did that with other you know, cheaper ink pens. But a blessing in disguise was the Reynolds ballpoint pen, which was easily available with change of uh, really cheap uh, refills. And uh, that pretty much pulled me through uh, secondary and uh, my college days. I remember I was doing my master's in England, but asked my friends to send through postage the Reynolds pens. Uh, so that's how much I enjoyed writing with them. Post university, I pretty much uh, just pulled through using ballpoint pens and whatever was around. As of now, I just have a cheap ballpoint pen and. Uh, Two notebooks. One is uh, used for uh, taking notes in meetings, and the other one is uh, for my music teachers to write into. Um, otherwise, I don't have any other prized uh, or expensive stationery. I know friends who, you know, are very impressed with Japanese stationery, especially, especially Muji's and the like. But um, I couldn't care less. You know, during my professional career, I never really had any Mont Blanc pens or any of those expensive ones. Um, well, you know, I guess I've lost the novelty factor for those uh, expensive uh, wannabe uh, pens that people have, uh, especially men have in their pockets. Hi, this is Jay Jayeshwaran. I'm neither a writer nor a painter. 